Welcome to All Things YouTube. Hello, Internet. I'm Matt Haas, and this video is about mixers. If you have a USB mic or if you're interested in USB microphones, you can skip this video because this is for people who have XLR microphones. So go ahead and skip this if this isn't for you. I'll wait. Still here? Nice. Impressive. You've had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm going to talk about two products. There are two products that are so far ahead of everything else out there, and they also will fit for almost all work environments. Specifically, if you are one person using the system, in other words, there's no one else in the room with you, like one XLR input, and then another situation where you have four, up to four people physically next to you, all recording the same show. If either one of those two apply, there's two products for you to consider, the Go XLR and the Rodecaster Pro. The Go XLR is Windows only. Got to put that out there. Between the two, well, let's talk about the similarities. They all take an XLR input. Again, the Go XLR only has one input for XLR. The Rodecaster Pro has four, but they both take that. They can also pull in music, your chat sounds, your system sounds, uh, cell phone, uh, your smartphone can you know, you, you can get all kinds of sources into it. And they all have sound pads. The sound pads can throw fun things like, or, you know, whatever you typically have in the content that you're producing, you can just push a button on those devices and that will enter the mix. And they can all do mix minus. Now that's a funky industry term, which means if you're connected to a remote party, like a, um, if you're interviewing someone off site, maybe they're on Skype, maybe um, they're on a mobile phone and you're getting that audio in there. You don't want to put your voice and their own voice back to them. You only want what you're saying to go back to that person because it'll be like a one second delay and your guest, everything your guest says, they're going to hear themselves say it back one second later. It's very distracting and no one can live through it. So mix, mix minus is a must in that type of environment and they both can do it. Now where the Go XLR shines is it has a audio routing table that you control through software on your computer and you can put any input to any output, mix and match. So the caller can hear the your voice and your chat sounds and the system sounds, but not their own voice. And the stream can have any combination of, of that. And then you can put maybe only your computer sounds in your own ear, but none of the other channels. It's very sophisticated. The Go XLR can do that. The Rodecaster Pro is, it was originally a podcasting device meant to take the, the show and capture it to the internal SD card. Um, but with multiple firmware updates, it's, it can now do almost everything. It can't do some of that sophisticated routing that I mentioned with the Go XLR. So if you're only one person and you're not planning on having multiple microphones around the desk and you're on Windows, the Go XLR is nothing else touches it on the market. And um, if you're on a Mac, and um, you could forego that sophisticated routing feature that I talked about. The Rodecaster Pro is also an amazing product. They're not cheap, but um, they're, they're definitely worth it. Now, here's another thing. <laughs> As if all of that wasn't good enough, they both have presets for something called 
compression. Compression is a way to manipulate the waveform. For example, the low parts of the waveform can get pushed up in volume and the loud parts can get pushed down. So there's no spiking. You'll never be in the red, for example. And if you really tweak it, you could have a whisper and a scream sound the same volume level, which is really professional. And then there's other parts of compression. Compression is like an umbrella term. Many different settings can happen. Another piece of compression is called big bottom. I know it's a funny term, but that's what it's called. It's an industry term. And bottom line is, if you buy either of those two devices, the Go XLR or the Rodecaster Pro, and you just enable the default settings for the compressor, they've got compress, boom, you sound so much better. It's night and day difference. It's incredible. So um, now if your environment is different than what I've mentioned, you're going to need a more sophisticated solution. And um, that goes way beyond <laughs> this course. But those two products are so far ahead of everything else that's out there. It, it's, it's, you don't see that very often in tech. You really don't. Okay, we'll leave it there. This is, this is all about mixers. I hope you found it helpful. Drop a like on this one. And if you're thinking about getting a mixer, put it in the comments of the YouTube video. Uh, join the Facebook group if you haven't already, and the next video is always on the top. Thanks, Internet. See you in the next one.